Hello, welcome back. We've actually got one promptly on time here for the weekend. Today we're going to talk about yet another obscure film. This one is called The Headless Eyes. Now, unlike last week, where we did an obscure TV movie made by major Hollywood studios and released on CB by CBS, today we're going to talk about an ultra-independent, grimy, slimy, scuzzy, New York City, probably guerrilla film, probably filmed without permits. This one takes place in Manhattan, in Washington Heights, and other neighborhoods. And it is about a man who loses an eye during a robbery, which turns him into a serial killer, stalking women and taking their eyes as trophy, and then making sculptures out of them. It's disgusting, it's gory, uh, it's prob it's definitely in the top 10% most extreme movies ever made at the time. It's up there with Herschel Gordon Lewis splatter films. And the most surprising thing about this movie is that it was written and directed by Kent Bateman, father of Jason Bateman from Arrested Development and uh, Ozark and a whole bunch of other major, majorly released t TV shows and movies. So Kent Bateman did this in 1971. It was his first movie. He did a few more later in his life, uh, but it didn't have a very prolific career, not like his children, Jason and Justine Bateman. Anyway, um, this is a straight up gore, serial killer, grimy New York City movie in the vein of Carnival of Blood or The Amazing Transplant or later movies such as Maniac or Basket Case. Um, all these movies are made in the underbelly of New York City. Oh, Street Trash is another good one. <laughs> Just dirty New York City movies. Very much not California movies. There's not a whole lot to the plot. It's this guy who's an artist. He tries to rob this woman, and in her own defense, she ends up stabbing his eye out. Uh, he... <laughs> He takes eyes from his victims and he and he puts them in this weird plastic and uh, I don't know there's just like a lot of eyeball removal in this movie and it's really just an exploitation film to deliver gore to grindhouse and drive-in fans of the early 70s. Um, there's not much more to it really. Uh, this music that you hear in the background uh, I believe was just public domain music that Kent Bateman took. I think it's actually, if I read, if I remember correctly, it was French TV show music that he just took. You can see here on the poster that it was released as a double header with the Ghastly Ones. Ghastly Ones is a film that I haven't watched yet, made in 1968 by one of my least favorite directors ever, uh, Andy Milligan, who did four dreadfully bad films in 1970, including Torture Dungeon, and uh, The Bloodthirsty Butchers, and others. So, too bad for audiences that had to watch. Actually, I haven't seen the ghastly one, so maybe it's not as bad as his other stuff, but I, w I will say that The Headless Eyes is significantly better than anything I've ever seen Andy Milliken do. That's pretty much it. It's a short one and a not so sweet one, really. It's a pretty disgusting movie. But uh, if you like that grimy exploitation New York City vibe, go for it. Oh, there was a really good scene where it was filmed right under the George Washington Bridge and uh, by the lighthouse up there on the Hudson River. It's cool to see filmmakers go out and film in the real world rather than on a Hollywood studio. So as always, respect to these super independent regional films that are not made with a lot of money, but probably still get their point across to their intended audiences. All right, see you next time.